Marine Report claims 400,000 people are involved in blasphemy cases in Pakistan, issuing calls for a crackdown on the blasphemers. In a press conference in Pakistan, Ra Raul Abdul Rahim, a lawyer and the chairman of the Legal Commission on Blasphemy, claimed that more than 400,000 people were allegedly involved in blasphemous activities. The information is based on a report submitted to the Lahore High Court by the cybercrime wing of the country's Federal Investigation Agency, or FIA. Rahim cited an incident where FIA agents arrested four people in 2022 for blasphemy charges. The investigation revealed that the four suspects organized a blasphemy group in uh, 2019, which quickly grew to more than 32,000 members upon their, uh, at the time of their arrest. Rahim said that the Pakistan Telecommunication Authority, or PTA for short, some of our favorite people, Armin, um, should use modern technology to inform the FIA about the blasphemers so that they could be arrested and convicted. Rahim also claimed that his organization helped the Pakistani government arrest 119 people accused of blasphemous activities. Of these 119 suspects, 11 have already been sentenced to death. He appealed to Pakistanis to observe April 7th as, quote, the National Awareness Day for prevention of indecent content on social media to spread awareness about the dangers and offenses of blasphemy. You're muted. Yeah. Am I still muted? No. Okay, so I'm having some problems with my systemic in case I get something happens, you know. But okay, wow, look at this is the report and this is Harris Sultan posting it. This is the report. Look at this 400,000, 400,000 blasphemers. Okay, guys, this is over. We have taken over Pakistan. <laughs> and <laughs> we, we win, like just hand it over, just hand it over. But this is actually very dangerous. They are it's really very pushing, dangerous. They are really pushing in for much. much you, should I show the video now? Yes. Because they're they're crying over TV on TV about how much um, how much Muhammad is getting insulted and nobody is doing about it. And they're they're demand they're they're asking for blood. Like there's another video um, that we're not going to show uh, today in the, on the same on national TV that they ask, they, they promise that they're going to find all these blasphemers and they're going to burn them alive. Burn they're them alive. Singing, they're singing hymns. Yeah. Singing hymns, calling out yeah. to God to allow them to burn the blasphemers alive. On, on national TV. Yeah. And they're saying there's 400,000 of them. Yeah. So look, let's look at this video. So this is a whole bunch of um, imams in Pakistan, both Sunni and Shia that they are talking about how horrible the situation is where people are blaspheming against the prophet mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and nobody's doing about it and they, they only like only a few people are on death row and they want mm -hmm. more people to be executed about this and they cry about it they actually cry about how horrible it is that the prophet's name is being insulted in such a way in pakistan so let's watch this together Okay. Yes. Again, thank you. Thank you so much again to Harris Sultan for digging all this out and True. translating. I have a quick question. Should we yeah. play the full video or should we pause to read the captions? You know what? I don't want to read it. I just want to get the crying part in. This is so what good. Okay. okay. Yeah. I, I, here's the thing. This is very serious and this does have like real life consequences to not only people in general, but people in our community. Like there are people in our atheist Republic community who, because of this incident are like now watching their back because of how serious right. this is. Right. So I'm about to make fun of these men. Okay. I am not making fun of the severity of the situation, especially being experienced by our community members. I just want to make that clear. Okay. I understand mm -hmm. that it's very scary and very serious, but these people right. deserve to be mocked. They deserve yes. to be mocked because if, if you can yes. mock them, you can take away the power of how they cause fear in your life. So yeah, let's get into this. Cause this made me laugh so hard at the end. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 
Why did we not die before seeing this day? I love how he goes, I don't mean to be melodramatic. Like he he catches himself. He's he's like, I'm doing too much right now. I just realized that I'm doing too much right now. Which part did you want to highlight? So, by the way, guys, in the video, he mentions how he's so upset that there are people that are writing Muhammad's names on their genitals and posting pictures of it, right? So, and they're wiping their bums with the Quran and posting pictures on it on social media. And he's crying and says, like, why are not officials doing anything about it? And he's saying that he wishes that he died. Uh, they all died before seeing such a day. But which part you, you there was another part that you want to highlight Hi, higher closer to the end okay at the end it is so freaking funny because they have like a collection of different scholars there right they have like yeah some sunnis and some shias yeah. blah 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 and the guy who's the host of the show goes over and he he's you know kind of crouches down to comfort the um oh yeah the, the shia the cleric and he goes I'm, yeah, yeah. i've never seen you cry like this da 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 i'm like you've never seen a shia cleric cry shut uh, shut up like that's kind of what they're famous for <laughs> yeah yeah that was the sunny guy that was a sunny guy but here oh and oh yeah that no, part no, no. that they all have tear what i swear to god it was the shia cleric or at least he dresses exactly no no like oh, I, no, no, no no what i'm saying hold on what I'm saying is what you heard so far was the Sunni guy. Yeah, so, Susanna is talking about the Shia guy, which I think is here. If it plays, wow, Twitter sucks. I should have downloaded this beforehand. Okay, Twitter is not going to play. Great job, Elon. I mean, thank you for bringing my Twitter account back, though. <laughs> Maybe I should quiet. Maybe I should stay quiet. Yeah, huh? maybe maybe I, I should shut up. Yeah. Anyways, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play it. Let's forget it. But there was a part where they all have like the, the camera zooms in. So let me actually just keep trying. The camera zooms in and they all like trying to make sure that they have tears and it zooms yeah, in on yeah, the tears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, the the TV host goes and you know holds the Shia the guy the Shia guy is like crying and like oh my god why are you crying so bad yeah, I've never I've seen never, you like I've this. never seen you like this. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, Shia we're not gonna cleric play that sobbing part. over an insult to Fatima Al Zara, shocking. <laughs> <laughs> Get my best-selling book Why There Is No God for free. Click on the link for it in the description.